Hello, my name is Ivan Gavrilov and uh, I, I am one of the founders of uh, Chaos Company. Why Chaos? Uh, because uh, in regards of uh, um, Prigozhin, who was Nobel Prize for his work upon uh, Chaos, um, this famous butterfly of Rio, who could create a tempest on India two weeks uh, after, uh, is at the beginning of the story of uh, chaos and creativity is a chaotic effect I mean we have a lot of small little ideas and then at the end it could be a great innovation so all my work uh, during these 20 years were upon uh, creativity and we use this creativity to create um, this uh, client customer relationship uh, you are uh, attending uh, today for two days. Um, what is uh, creativity? Uh, a film is very impressive if you can uh, have it on internet one day. Um, it's, I call it the Arms of Prigozhin, and Prigozhin is Nobel Prize, I already mentioned. Uh, he made them starve during two days and then he put a honeypot uh, and a bridge between this arms and uh, the honeypot. And what happened then? The first um, aunt who was uh, starving uh, said to herself, I should look at uh, uh, this new way and uh, go on the bridge. But there are no pheromones of other ants on this bridge. So she comes down with uh, no honey, but she put her pheromones on the bridge. So a second uh, aunt, a different one, also starving, um, says to herself, perhaps I should go there and see whether there is something to eat or not. And she can smell the pheromones of the first aunt. So she goes a little further until she thinks that uh, she must, must have made the mistake and she comes back. But she put also her pheromones on the bridge. So a third aunt is able to go a little further, come back and until the tenth one or, or more uh, get to the honey come back uh, and say to the other, there is uh, honey there, you should uh, go and, and have some uh, something to eat. So what is impressive in this process, they are very simple individually, but they are very clever collectively. It, should, it happens to be the, the quite the opposite for human beings usually. So what can we do in order to be uh, as creative as they are? Um, they were what we know is not what we can create. We know a lot of things, but when you want to invent, it's something that doesn't exist uh, until you create it. So, uh, first thing, you must be starving in order and you look for something else. Even if you are a champion, you could imagine yourself doing better and better. So, uh, people who find are people who are optimistic and some, somewhere are starving for more are starving, are looking for something better. Uh, second point, you have to accept to give your ideas even if they are not good at once because it enables the others to have other ideas if they can listen to you uh, nicely, I mean uh, without judging you and say, wow, what you are telling me makes me think of something else. So. At the end of this process, if you accept to use the CQFD methodology during these two days, you'll have a lot of new results. See mean no comment, no critics at all when some, someone speaks. He must feel um, uh, confident that no one will judge him if he has some foolish ideas. Q mean quantity. The more ideas you have, the better they will be at the end. There is no way to go directly to a new ID until you have many little IDs before these great IDs. That is a solution. Uh, third, F, F means foolishness. Uh, the more you accept to be foolish and the more you, you are lucky to find something new. Uh, sorry for my English. And Q, uh, uh, D means develop the IDs of others. So, uh, roughly during these two days, except to practice the CQFD uh, attitude, no critics to your neighbors, quantity, foolishness, and develop the ideas of others. Thank you.